Go ahead and hold, hold that up. So that's so that's the Squeak VM running on an iPod Touch. Okay. And how long have you been working on that? Uh, I think it's uh, been about five weeks now. Five to six weeks I've been working on the code base for it. So how different is the Touch and iPhone interface to, say, the standard Mac OS X? I mean, did you have to do much to the VM to get it running yet? The drawing cycle is completely different, and the Touch view is new. Um, so all of that is new. It's not any... So it's not a straight port? It's not a straight port. And actually the code base that I've been developing is I, I took the attitude of burn the disk packs and started actually <laughs> from scratch okay. um, because of the, these questions about licensing, where is the code base coming from? Uh -huh. And we have legacy code since the code base started in the early 90s. And mm -hmm. so I really wanted to uh, oh, that take the viewpoint of looking well, at I mean, um, well, we we APIs, documenting them, and then going back and yeah. writing code yeah. based on the interpretation. Because we actually technically have three implementations, the Unix, Windows, and the, the Mac one. Mm -hmm. And the Mac one has two, genera two or more generations. And then there are also uh, Marcel, for example, hey, uh, uh, for well, a number of years ago. Uh, and Pamarta also did a couple of parts. So. Okay. Well, hold that up again. Let me see if I can actually see something that looks vaguely like Squeak if I put the camera close enough. So, okay, so let's see. The Dancing Atoms is, this is actually an image. Pull back, it's too bright. <laughs> this is actually a 3.4 image from 2002 that I just grabbed because it has better graphics um, performance than a 3.10 image. Okay. Because there are some, uh, the 3.10 image does anti-aliasing, rounded pixel corner kind of things, and those are actually very computationally expensive. Okay. And this is equivalent to uh, a 233 megahertz desktop device, and it's been a long time since people have <laughs> worked with that type of hardware. That's even, okay, that's even slower than the, I've got an ancient Pentium 2 400 yeah, in, so in it's my house. Half that so it's half that. Yes. Okay. So, um, and that's running Red Hat 7, which is pretty old. I have one right out here. Okay. So, um, there's still a lot to do, actually, I mapped out there was like nine. 90 some work days involved in doing this port, plus also then using this as a basis for a new uh, Coco OS X 64 bit. Ah. Because um, That's right. there's interest in that. But also I'm tying into Elliot's um, work on COG. Mm -hmm. Although this, there's really two components there's the VM Maker produced code, which is extruded from VM Maker from Slang. And then on the other, which Elliot is addressing, but on the other side you have 44 R calls, which are the platform support API calls, and that's what I'm okay. working on. Cool. And of course, I am looking for further funding. ASOC <laughs> um, has agreed to provide some funding for the, the base support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but other work. It doesn't cover all 90, 90 days. All right. Thanks, John. Okay.